Have you seen those viral videos of humanoid robots dancing, doing parkour, or even falling over on the job? Well, get ready for a lot more robot hijinks and shenanigans because the world's first humanoid robot factory is being built. Agility Robotics, the company behind the two-legged robot digit, is opening a 70,000 square foot manufacturing facility in Salem, Oregon, aptly named RoboFab. This state-of-the-art factory aims to pump out over 10,000 humanoid robots per year once it's fully up and running. Just imagine, a whole factory full of digits walking, jumping and doing the robot as they're assembled. It'll be just like a high-tech assembly line meets a dance crew competition. But in all seriousness, this marks a major milestone in robotics and manufacturing. Agility Robotics has been leading the pack in humanoid robot development for years, but mass-producing these robots brings things to a whole new level. So what makes Digit so special compared to other robots out there? Well, for starters, it has two legs and can walk around just like a human. But don't worry, it doesn't need to take any bathroom breaks. It also has arms capable of manipulating objects with dexterity close to human motion. Digit exceeds at mobility, being able to lean and turn smoothly, walk over uneven terrain, and navigate dynamic environments. This advanced movement gives Digit unprecedented versatility to take on various tasks. For example, Digit can traverse warehouses and distribution centers, transporting and unloading inventory. It can grasp and handle objects of different sizes and shapes with care and precision. And if you throw some googly eyes on Digit, it could even make the perfect waiter or butler to serve you drinks and snacks while you relax. Digit and the other humanoid robots produced at RoboFab will be ideal assistants for dirty, dangerous and repetitive tasks. The three Ds as I like to call them. They can take over strenuous manual labor to reduce injuries for human workers. These robots could also potentially work extended hours without tiring to increase productivity and efficiency. No need for cigarette or pizza breaks with the digits. And bots don't complain about working conditions or request raises, though I'm sure they wouldn't mind the occasional oil change or battery recharge. With capabilities to take on various jobs from manufacturing to service roles, Digit and its robot comrades enable humans to focus their time and energy on more meaningful work. The goal is for humans and robots to collaborate seamlessly together in the future. Now you may be wondering, if these humanoid wonderbots are so great, does this mean robots are going to take all of our jobs? Will there be robo-riots and protests by angry humans? Well, Agility Robotics believes that while robots will be handling many mundane tasks, their expansion will actually create new and better jobs for humans. RoboFab itself is expected to employ over 500 people in roles such as engineering, programming, maintenance and quality control. Humans will still be essential for creative, analytical and troubleshooting work, so no need to worry about robots completely taking over yet. We can coexist as one big happy human robot family. The opening of RoboFab represents a major milestone for the robotics industry. It marks the beginning of scaled up humanoid robot manufacturing. This has significant implications for the future of work and automation. Large numbers of agile, nimble robots like Digit promises to transform how businesses operate. Agility Robotics believes integrating humanoid robots into varied sectors will create new opportunities rather than take away jobs from humans. They envision hybrid teams of people and bots cooperating based on complementary strengths. This collaborative approach will shape the workforce of the future. For instance, Digit excels at physical tasks requiring endurance, heavy lifting and repetitive precision. Its capabilities could be applied across many industries. In logistics and warehousing, Digit can smoothly transport packages and inventory all day long without getting tired or distracted. In hospitals, Digit could deliver medical supplies, freeing up nurses to focus on patient care. I, for one, would love a robot nurse to change my bedpan instead of an awkward human. On construction sites, Digit could lift and carry heavy materials precisely where they need to be. I hope Digit is programmed to whistle while it works. In disaster response scenarios, Digit could access hazardous areas and tunnels too dangerous for human rescuers to traverse. I know Digit doesn't get scared, but I'd still hold its hand. And in restaurants and hospitality, Digit could work as a server carrying trays of food and drinks. As long as it doesn't dump hot soup in customers' laps, the possibilities are endless. Essentially, any job involving mobility, manipulation and repetition is ripe for assistance from Digit or its robot compatriots. By taking over dull, dirty and dangerous work, Digit frees up the human workforce to focus on creative, analytical and interpersonal responsibilities. Rather than mass layoffs and unemployment, Agility believes integrating humanoid robots will lead to better quality jobs. 
RoboFab itself expects to employ hundreds of engineers, programmers and technicians. These are skilled roles requiring human strengths like innovative problem solving, strategizing and leadership. So no need to worry about robots completely taking over yet. On a broader scale, the wide availability of capable and affordable robots like Digit could significantly benefit business productivity and efficiency. Some predict this manufacturing revolution will ripple through global supply chains and economies. As costs are reduced and output scales up, markets and consumers will surely benefit. However, these monumental shifts also raise important ethical questions. How can we proactively develop policies to ensure these technologies are used responsibly? Automation, AI and robotics must complement human workers, not exploit or endanger them. Worker protection, transparency and accountability measures will be key. Governments may need to implement retraining programs, business incentives and labour regulations supportive of hybrid human-robot workforces. One hopeful template is the Public Benefit Corporation, binding companies to high ethical standards beyond just profits. However, oversight and principles guiding this technology transition will take shape gradually. As humanoid robots become more ubiquitous in the workforce, how can we ensure they are used responsibly? Safeguarding human well-being must remain the priority. Some ethical guidelines will be needed to steer companies leveraging automation and AI. Maintaining transparency, accountability and respect for worker rights is crucial. For example, will robots like Digit directly replace human jobs or truly collaborate with workers? Which tasks should remain exclusively human? Worker retraining programs, labour regulations and special certifications may help smooth the transition. Rights and protections should evolve to cover human-robot collaboration. Instituting an approval process for integrating emerging technologies could reduce potential harm. Regular impact assessments and monitoring will also help flag issues. Ideally, pioneering companies like Agility Robotics will self-regulate based on ethical frameworks like Asilomar AI principles that uphold human values. Some propose legally requiring companies to consider social responsibility, not just profits. Since no single solution exists, Oversight and governance surrounding humanoid robots will likely progress gradually. It will be a learning process for all. But if managed wisely, Digit and its robo-compatriots offer immense potential to improve society. They could make work safer, expanding human creativity and prosperity. Just remember, the robots work for us, not the other way around. When I'm the supreme overlord of Earth, I promise to be kind to my bot subjects. Does this count as robot rights activism? In closing, innovations bring both promise and prudence. With ethical standards in place, I'm hopeful society and robots can tango into a beautiful automated future, one step at a time. And that's all for today. If you're excited about AI innovations and want to stay updated with the latest trends and insights, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, AI is not our enemy, but our ally, ushering us into a future of endless possibilities.